Chatty Dad 1 coming at you. Here's some uh, words of wisdom coming from Roy Potter that uh, we all need to listen to and, and take heed because this man is, uh, you know, he truly, I feel he truly has a pulse on what's going on with our shadow government and with all these things going down. Let's listen. has to forward this to them. Maybe even senators, congressmen, <laughs> the Supreme Court. Help me to get this to everyone possible, you know. Tweet it out, whatever it is you do, and I'm a baby boomer, so I, I don't quite get into all of that, but you, you all who do it, please do. You are welcome to. Because it is time for the new hero to stand up. And there are legions of you, and I don't mean that in a negative term, as it's often applied. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of you waiting in the wings to do the right thing, but you, you're either afraid or you think you need the right time. Believe me, now is the time for every good man and woman to come to the aid of this republic. I'm not even going to say our country, but the republic that we're supposed to be. We have heroes that have come forward in our past. But I want to talk about two today. Bradley Manning and Edward Snowden, which most of you have heard about by now. The government constantly talks about the criminality of, of leaks and the people that leak the information and the leaks and the leakers and the leakers of the leakers and all of these things. They go back to a to the Espionage Act of 1917 to, to apply all this, which, which is really improper under the circumstances because the real criminals are hiding criminal activity and, and, and protecting it by using this Espionage Act of, of 1918 and the military and state secrets, so-called privilege, which I talked about before. In other words, criminality occurs, violations of the Constitution occur, and they hide behind the pretense of national security when really what they're talking about is hiding their crimes, misdemeanors, and treason. We can no longer allow this to go unchecked. And this hidden army, these people that can break the back of this developing tyranny, which is really here already, they just haven't, they haven't actually implemented the part where they're going to drop the hammer. They've done it incrementally, but they're getting ready to, and we need to do this now. I know many of you have taken those where you've said that, you know, you will not violate your agreement, that you will not disclose information that is unauthorized to be disclosed. But I have to ask you, what is the greater crime? To violate the Constitution the Bill of Rights, the very foundations that our government was founded upon, the very foundations of liberty, freedom, freedom of the press, freedom from unlawful searches and seizures. What is the greater crime? We hear James Clapper of the NSA and his minions saying that these are violations, these leaks are grievous violations and crimes. They, the people that are guilty always point the fingers at someone else, and the government acts like a juvenile delinquent in its actions of blaming others when it is the problem. You hear that? The people that are guilty always point the finger to someone else. And what do we see Obama doing, and what has he done time after time? It's Bush's fault. It's Bush's fault. It's their fault. It's his fault. It's her fault. That's word of wisdom right there, my friend. The United States used to be the beacon of liberty to the world. Not the best not perfect but it was the beacon of liberty 
now it has become the sower of oppression, the instigator of aggression, and the black boot of tyranny worldwide. And it's coming home now to roost in the United States, as I've talked about ad infinitum with the way that they're attacking the freedom and liberty of Americans and soon their lives. I'll leave the link to the uh, whole video below and uh, please go and give a listen and share this information like he said y y you know he we have his permission to share it far and wide so please do so we uh, we've got to do our best to fight tyranny and oppression and to unchain the hands of freedom in this country or in this republic like he says he doesn't even want to call it a country because you know they we hear them talk about it being a democracy well they're absolutely right we're no no longer a republic they have turned it into a democracy and almost turned it into a uh, dictator state anyway go give it a listen it's it's worth it and share please Never give up your guns because your rights go right along with them. Buy all the ammo you can, if, where, when, and how you can. Prepare, prepare, prepare. You can never prepare too much. This is Chatty Dad 1. Love and hope to all. Over and out.